This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits via online course modules. To access these and for more information, visit our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.com backslash CME dash courses, or simply click on the link in our show notes and create an account. So what do you think is the most painful procedure that we do to patients? NG tube. NG tube, that's right. And actually studies have actually shown that NG tube is the most painful. Are there other painful things we do to patients or make them do while they're here? Rhino rocket, that's pretty bad. So most people don't love having a pelvic exam in the emergency department, right? So one of the great innovations of the last few years has been the vaginal self-swab for checking for STIs. So this is a study that wanted to look at, is it effective, does it even work, or are we just kind of like fooling ourselves that we don't have to do a pelvic exam anymore, we can shove it all off on the patient. This was a study in Fresno, the basic study idea was they were going to do a pelvic exam on everyone who was concerned about an STI, and then they were also going to have them do a vaginal self-swab and then compare the two and see if it was accurate. So they talked to about 750 patients. They eventually consented about 515 of them who all did both. And how do you think it did? Do you think uh, it was effective, not effective, accurate? So it was pretty accurate, yeah. There was actually about 95% agreement between the two samples. So there were just a few missed cases in the uh, vaginal self-swabs, but it was considered, you know, kind of sufficiently sensitive. And those could have been due to patient technique or they could have been due to just lab error. And then how do you think the patients felt about it? Better, yeah, it was good in general. They surveyed them afterwards and 95% of them said, yeah, that was fine, we could do it that way. 75% said, actually, I prefer this over a pelvic exam. But then there were about 28% of patients who said, I'm not 100% confident that I did it the right way, so there's probably some room for coaching. But in general, this study showed that it works, it's sensitive enough, patients probably prefer it. There are reasons from a workflow standpoint why it would be good. You know, it's a hassle for you guys to stand there like looking super bored while we do a pelvic exam. Sometimes you're busy with other things, it's hard for us to track you down. And, you know, can be generally uncomfortable for the patients. So I would say there are other reasons to do a pelvic exam if they have pain or other concerns, but if truly they just had exposure and they're worried about STI, we should probably almost always be doing the uh, vaginal self-swab. It's a, it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, thanks. The Emergency Medical Minute would like to thank our sponsor, Swedish Medical Center, for helping fund our nonprofit organization and make this podcast possible. Donations are essential to our organization to cover operational costs and fund the creation of our online courses offering AMA PRA Category 1 credits. So if you enjoy our show, and if you're able to make a one-time or recurring donation towards our organization, any amount is helpful. Please click the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.